Many believe the 14th Amendment to the Constitution grants citizenship to anyone born on United States soil, even if their parents are here illegally. But President Trump says that's not true, and he's right. Here's why. Universal birthright citizenship is actually a misinterpretation of the 14th Amendment. It was ratified in 1868, shortly after the Civil War, to specifically extend citizenship to freed slaves and their children. But the 14th Amendment does not say that all people born in the United States are citizens. It says that all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens. That second, critical, conditional phrase, subject to the jurisdiction thereof, is conveniently ignored or misinterpreted by advocates of birthright citizenship. It was written to help distinguish between people like the children of former slaves who were unfairly denied citizenship and the children of diplomats or other people who were in the country but owed their citizenship to other countries. Many claim that anyone present in the United States has subjected him or herself to the jurisdiction of the United States. But Senator Lyman Trumbull, a key figure in the adoption of the 14th Amendment, said that subject to the jurisdiction meant not owing allegiance to any other country. He's referring to the difference between partial territorial jurisdiction, which subjects all foreigners who enter the United States to the jurisdiction of our laws, and complete political jurisdiction, which requires allegiance to the United States government as well. So while a foreign tourist could be persecuted for violating a criminal statute, he or she could not be drafted if we had a military draft or be subjected to other requirements imposed on citizens, such as serving on a jury. Other legal arguments for universal birthright citizenship point to the Supreme Court's 1898 decision in U.S. versus Wong Kim Ark. But that decision only stands for the very narrow proposition that children born of lawful permanent residents are U.S. citizens. This decision says nothing about the children of illegal immigrants or the children of tourists, students, and other foreigners only temporarily present in this country being automatically considered U.S. citizens. Those children are considered citizens of the native countries of their parents. Just like children born abroad to American parents are considered U.S. citizens no matter where the children are born. Most countries around the world do not provide birthright citizenship. We do so based not on the requirements of federal law or the Constitution, but based on an incorrect interpretation. And that should be changed.